Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kole Martin. Is my name, and please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and please throw your comments in below if you want to see me creating more videos like this. Um, I'm gonna be putting a link into a petition that you actually have to sign to actually prove that Black Lives actually matter to you. I'm gonna be thankful to everybody that actually taken action. We're gonna be continuing to use our platforms to use our voices to actually speak against these bad acts, against people and human rights and injustice. Please, thanks for coming back to my channel. Let's get into today's video. So I'm um, someone will be asking what's an aesthetic Instagram feed. Now I'm gonna be showing you an example of an Instagram feed right here, and another right here, and another here, and another right here. So these are actually four different kind of like Instagram profiles that are actually designed to meet a certain kind of like niche. So if you're gonna be designing like your own instagram profile and you want it to look like any of these that i've actually been showing you in the pictures or any other that you actually want to design so i'm going to be showing you some simple steps you can actually follow now one thing you actually first have to take in mind is the kind of niche or the kind of content you actually want to produce as a content creator now you may want to have some ports you may not have some cars or you may have to have um, anything else that you actually love that you actually want to put into your instagram feed now for my kind of instagram feed what i always love to do is to put the neon um, posters or signs or messages and then my other kind of like pictures or uh, content that i'm actually putting across so my instagram feed when i'm actually organizing my instagram feed i'll actually first post a picture then like a neon post or like a neon poster or something then another picture then a neon poster then a picture then another neon poster now that kind of organization is actually called the tile organization um it actually good when you have less pictures to put but you want to put or you want to post on a regular basis because uh it's easy to actually get these neon posters or these neon posts but you may not be taking your own pictures every now and then so it's actually easy to actually post your own pictures then a post like a neon post or any other kind of post because other people who actually don't do neon so they may use that other knee that other they may use any other thing that they actually have um another way of organizing your instagram profile is um using the columns i'm sure these are the columns right columns right? yeah these are the columns is using the columns um instagram has three columns um there is the first one the second one and the third one um my brother's ig page that i'm gonna be showing you in a picture right here um is organized in columns in this first column is gonna be putting quotes which are a white background then in this other column is gonna be putting something like food and then in this other column is gonna be putting something like his pictures or let me see a place he's traveled to or something like that now this of organizing is actually good it's actually great i've actually seen it some other influencers like bettina tiana actually she was the first person i saw it too then also my other brother did it so um it's a nice way to organize your instagram profile it's a nice way to actually make your feed it's actually attractive people love it and it's good and another way to actually organize it in columns is instead of putting the what are they called the words or the quotes or that um content that you actually want to put at the at the last end you could actually put the quotes in the middle i'm also, I'm also going to show you a page that has quotes in the middle that you could actually use um another way to actually organize them now is um the rows i'm going to be showing you another page that actually organizes its instagram pictures in rows um when you organize in rows it's actually good for the eye because like someone is going to see the same exact they may not be the same exact picture but like they have the same vibe and then the other row has the, the other row has the same vibe the other row has the same vibe you can actually organize this according to color like this row, the first row could be a dark color then the next could be a lighter color then a dark color then a lighter color they actually look nice um then another way to organize your instagram is by using colors also um colors are very good some people have kind of like a rainbow kind of like um let me say feed the, the feed is red then there is pink then there is green then there is all these other kind of colors if you're very good at coordinating colors please you can also try that out it's really good for the eyes i'm gonna be showing you a page right here that actually has that and then another one that I actually love is um black and white you can choose to have, to have your page black and white now this is actually very easy and the best the best app that i actually use to edit apps into this is lightroom lightroom is the very first i'm gonna put a link for lightroom down below so that you guys can get it it's actually free for both 
um, Android and iOS. I think it's free for iOS. I don't know, but it's free for Android. And um, I'm also gonna put a link on where you could actually get some good presents to actually edit your pictures because um, it's good to actually edit your pictures using one present in that way they look very nice. That's why when I said white and black, I was like trying to emphasize I do love a white and black feed, it actually looks good. Um, that's another way of organizing your Instagram profile. And then another way of organizing your Instagram profile is um by using uh let me say let me say something like um famous quotes uh people do love encouragement people do want to hear people do want to listen so if you have some famous quotes you could actually put them in there i'm also going to be showing you a profile that has famous quotes on it so another thing i actually want to see is when making your instagram profile don't don't forget to actually put a good bio i'm going to be making a video on how to get good things to put in your bio and some good examples I actually have a bunch of examples that you actually actually put in your bio i'm going to be showing what my bio shows right here but i'm going to be giving you other examples how to make a good instagram bio how to get good fonts for free and what to add in your instagram bio and what not to add please fill out your bio because it actually gives the first impression to someone who wants to follow you on instagram so yeah i'll be making more videos about instagram and about blogs very soon and very much so please keep around please remember to keep your life safe please continue to love each other please continue to love yourself until then